Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. Cheers to you. This is actually, I love this cup. I'm such, this is really embarrassing, you guys. I'm just going to tell you something. I have a serious problem buying huge coffee mugs. It's not just, like, I don't buy the small ones. I just, when I see, maybe it's because in the past, coffee's been such a big part of my life. It still is. Well, it's not a big part of my life the way it used to be. If somebody could invent a way that I could have coffee that tasted the way it did, <laughs> um, a lot of coffee mate, flavored coffee mate, hazelnut coffee mate, there's a bee on my window, please tell me that's outside. Yes, it must be outside. I hope it's outside. Um, and with a lot of Splenda, that would be great. Um, but until then, I'm drinking black coffee. I'm dealing with it. You get used to it. Um, it doesn't give me the amount of pleasure that what I just told you did. <laughs> but um, what does give me pleasure is the fact that um, I'm going to be back in my um, size, uh, my smaller sizes. I'm trying to think, I have so many different sizes. Um, but I was looking at my old navy. I've got these like old navy shorts that I really love, and they're size eights. And they fit, but they've been just like a little, you know, right around the middle, kind of not, you know, if anything, it's even just a little bit like uh, denting in and I feel uncomfortable, I won't wear it. So i um, pretty excited that I'm damn close to that. I'm telling you guys, the whole like switching or transitioning into paleo is working for me. And I'm, I was funny because I was having lunch today with Amy and I was trying to tell her like, what is it that I, that I cut out really coming back from... Um, the CrossFit Games. I'm trying to think of what I had before that, that wasn't paleo. Um, and it was, you know, the soy. So I was having, when I would go to Starbucks, I would get a soy chai latte. So I'm not having those anymore. That does make me a little bit sad. Um, so not having the soy, not having the tempa, which is soy, on my salads. I was having that a lot. Um, I'm trying to think. Still having eggs for breakfast. Um, I mean, the only thing I'm adding is I'm having coffee but black coffee um, I'm trying to think of what I was eating before that I cut out I had already cut out the whey protein and and really any dairy um, I'm just trying to think oh you know what is is before my move um, I, I certainly was um, because I wasn't buying groceries so it's certainly going to like um, I would be in a rush and I would go through Taco Bell drive through and I'd get the fresco style, um, fresco style chicken soft tacos. So I'd have that with, you know, the, that would have the, um, what's it called? The wrapper thingy, um, the tortilla. Uh, anyway, I can't think of, of really what else necessarily I was having. Um, but you know, like, let me give you an example when, uh, of, of thing, how I'm approaching things differently and how it's given me, I hate to say willpower, because willpower suggests that you're like, oh, give it away from me. I just, it feels much easier. I'm in a place where I was a couple years ago where it's easier for me to, to look at something that looks really amazing and either say, A, I don't want to eat it because I know I'm going to get a horrific stomach ache from it, or B, you know, I don't have to give in to every temptation. Like, it's easier for me to say, you know what, I'm not going to have that now because I'd rather just wait and really have it at this opportunity or that opportunity. Um, but I was over at, when was this, last weekend, my parents invited me over for an impromptu cookout. And um, so I stopped over there and obviously they had um, your typical grill fare. So they had hamburgers and hot dogs and I didn't have brats. I haven't had that in a while and I'd like to have brats. Uh, but they had the bun, so I didn't have the bun. Um, those are times when, yeah, you know, you, you want to have a burger on a bun with all the fixings, but it's just as good to eat the stuff by itself. Um, they had some like potato salad kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I do and I'm tempted by. But, you know, again, I'm looking at it going, do you want to have that or do I want to keep going? Do I keep wanting to making, do I want to keep making progress? <laughs> and yes, I want to keep making progress. So, um, I'm trying to give you an example of what maybe before I was doing paleo and having such good results, I might have done at my parents. Um, she had out um, these really good corn tortilla chips. So they're um, just corn, um, and, and I'm guessing that, well, I would have. In the past, before I was doing paleo, I would have been like, well, these are good. You know, they're not the made out of crap stuff. They're not, they're not wheat, it's corn, and you know, 
and they're not greasy. I probably would have had that and then she had, oh heavens. And this is good because I'm gonna tell you a good recipe. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you because this is technically kind of junk in a jar, but I don't care because I could eat the whole jar and probably try to lick the inside of the jar. Um, you know that like, what is the brand? It's Tostitos, I don't even know if it's really cheese. Cheese with um, salsa, like con queso or whatever, but I think it's like not queso. It's actually like maybe just a colored substance with cheese. We freaking love that stuff. So if you put a jar of that in front of me, or she had it in a nice bowl, um, that's a temptation for me. And let me tell you, I was like, maybe I'll just have some of that on a plate. And then I'm like, stupid dairy. So I looked at the ingredients and not only could I not understand half the ingredients, but you know, obviously, it's dairy and I'm really trying to keep as like everything dairy out. So I didn't have it, but here's a secret. Let me tell you this. That was the kind of thing that tempted me and I didn't drink that day or whatever, but it really was not that difficult. Um, I enjoyed my food um, and yada, yada, yada. What I wanted to tell you is if you are like me and you like that um, cheese stuff with salsa, and usually if I would get that in the past, if I was having like a cheat meal, I'd get that cheesy crap stuff in a jar. I don't care, I'm not just gonna tell you, I like it. I don't even know what it is, but I, if I could eat whatever I want, I probably would still be eating that, as well as Krispy Kreme donuts. Not together though, but I bet you it might be good. Um, here's the thing, where was I going with that? I was making a point. Oh, if you like that, here's what else tastes really good. If you get a, you guys know, I'm seriously in love with hummus, it's a problem. I'm curious. One time, if you don't hear from me in many days, you'll be, have to call the hummus police because I may have OD'd on it. But if you take like a roasted red pepper hummus and mix some with salsa, whatever kind of salsa you like, tastes just like that cheesy dip stuff. You would not even know the difference and it's all natural if you get the right kind of hummus. So there's a little tip for you today. How do you feel about that? Don't you love this music? This is weekend music. Um, so I have to, what time is it? It's, I've already gone seven minutes babbling here. Um, it's very odd as you can see. I actually have my hair washed and uh, makeup on, which is rare because it's so funny. I really so rarely put makeup on anymore. I almost sometimes forget how to put it on. Um, but anyway, I have not done my workout today. I went to meet Amy at our old sushi place and um, here's what's funny, so I'm just going to be totally honest with you. Um, normally when I go have sushi, it's not, that's one of the things before I was paleo, that before I was, I think I'm taking this like way too, a little bit way too seriously, but when you've had the success that I've had in two weeks and you see such mar remarkable changes in your body in two weeks, you can see why I'm a little like, oh, did I just ruin everything? Um, and I have to keep remembering, and I had three conversations with some uh, paleo-ish companies yesterday, and all of them are like, calm down, buttercup. You know, most people that do paleo, you know, they either, you know, cheat, it's the 80-20 rule, yada, 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 stop freaking out, blah, blah, blah. Um, but when I was at lunch today, and, and I'm talking about sushi, in the past, if I would go out and meet a client for lunch um, and we would do sushi, I would get mostly sashimi. I was telling you guys this before. Carla got me into really liking the, just the fish. Um, so I love to get salmon or the really white tuna. So I would get um, sashimi and then I would get um, maybe one, one roll with, with um, rice on it. And it's funny because as I've started to enjoy just the sashimi more, I'm realizing that the uh, I, uh, that the, um, the rolls with like so much sauce on it and so much, um, you know, gook on the top. I used to really love, uh, eat any rolls that had eel in it and that brown sauce. Not that I'm saying I don't like the taste anymore. I don't find myself as drawn to those kind of rolls. I, I like simpler and I really like the spicy rolls. So, um, that's probably something that on a more regular basis, um, when I'm going out for sushi, I will stick with just the sashimi, um, seaweed salad, whatever. And then if it's, you know, a cheat meal, what have you, then I would get the, the rice. But today I decided um, that I would have a little, a few bites of one of the rolls. And I'm not lying, I was so paranoid. So I had probably three, I think I probably had four individual pieces. 
um, of soup, and one of them was really good. It had like this spicy, had jalapenos on it, and then it had this spicy, smoky taste. It was really good. So we'll see. Of course, there's part of me that thought, I'm going to come home and gain 20 pounds. Is that stupid? I know it's stupid, but it's a lot of what goes on up there, so what are you going to do? Anyway, so um, I didn't get to do my workout because um, I slept in this morning. I slept in this morning until 9. I let myself sleep in because there was that one day, I don't know if I vlogged about it, I only got five, maybe even four and a half hours of sleep. I went to bed at like 11.30 and I woke up at 4 in the morning and could not, once I'm really up, I'm up and I could not go back to sleep. And finally I thought, you know what, I still have not caught up since moving to all the work I have to do, so I'm going to just work and I really, this was Wednesday, I really got caught up um, with all the work I needed to do, so it's good, but I still think my body's like, um, hello, needing some sleep here. So all that to say, by the way, I cannot wait to go back to Lake Tahoe. Didn't I start talking about that at the very beginning of this vlog, coffee cups? And then of course I never finished the thought. <sighs> Here's my thought that I've started to say. I love coffee cups, coffee mugs because they have to be a certain degree. This is actually a smaller cup. As you can see, it's not as big as my whole head. You know, my other ones are as big as my head. I really, really like um, coffee mugs. In fact, I'm just gonna show you something because this is really a little embarrassing. So hold on. This is, <laughs> this is really a problem. This whole entire thing are coffee mugs. You guys think I'm joking. So these I love. This is what I have when my uh, when my niece is over. These are my original uh, Pier One coffee mugs. These are Pottery Barn that I got when I was married. <coughs> Sorry, phlegm in my mouth. Um, Starbucks. Those are some big mugs back there. Those are the two mugs I got when I was at Sundance out in Park City, which I love. More Starbucks mugs. Uh, that's the one my mom got me. Which one? That one. My mom got me that on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. More Starbucks. That one is also from Park City, that blue one. I don't know if you can tell that. This one I just like because it's big and blue. And then those ones way up there are small ones that I don't use as much. Those are the Starbucks mugs and that's one for the car. But I rarely take stuff in the car. But do you see kind of a problem I have? Sorry about that. Um, I have a severe problem with coffee mugs. So me in Lake Tahoe. See what happens when I have my um, my um, camera close to me? I always look over here, over there, because over there is where I can see myself and see if I look like a moron or not. And so if it's up close, you really see me looking there. When I first started shooting vlogs, people would write to me and go, why are you looking over to the right all the time? How's that? Now, all of you guys, I'm looking really white today. I think it's the lighting. I don't have any lights on right now. And because it's like 101 degrees out, I have um, all of my blinds pulled shut. But uh, Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, and on that note, I need to go pump some iron because I didn't work out this morning. So I'm gonna go get my sweat on. You guys have a great weekend. I will be back tomorrow. Um, and that is that. 13 minutes. We're under 15 minutes today, folks.